another video so i'm back with another video today's video is going to be a video about my most embarrassing moment girl sister chaz who this was something for the books <laughs> I think like in my life, I literally only told like two two people this story. One is the person who was with me and another was, I think, who was the other person? I don't remember. I think it was my friend, Tatiana. I think those are the only two people that I told this story. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. I'm going to start from the tippity top. We're going to try to make this story as short as possible. So I was in high school, I think I was in like 10th grade. No, I wasn't like, yeah, 10th or 11th grade. So at this point, we were doing like, you know, we started to do like college stuff, college trips, whatever, whatever. So there was this program going on at this college that these people I used to go to high school with or whatever, used to go to. So as I told you guys before, my parents are really strict. So I really had to sit here and like ask my parents or whatever. So. I told my parents, I was like, look, listen, it's some of my friends in school. They're going to this program in the college where you go on college trips. It was something you had to do in order to keep going on these trips. So I told my mother about it and she felt like it was a great way for me to get out there and, you know, learn about more colleges. So I guess like my friends, they were able to like recruit people into the program. So we was like, all right, bet. I want to be a part of it. So... I signed myself up and I started going. So I started going to this program. It was fun and all. We had meetings. We tell us about what trips we were gonna go on. Everybody was so hype and everything. So one day came and we went on one of the trips. I think it was Sony Oneonta. I don't really remember the college, but I do remember that it was mad early in the morning. It was like five or six o'clock. We had to be at the school by like seven. And it was dark outside. So we meet up at the program. And, you know, we're all excited because it was all different people from different schools. So it wasn't just people from my school. I'll get on the bus now. And the thing about me is I have a very weak stomach. So make sure you keep that in mind. You know, before every trip, everybody go to the corner store, get them a sandwich, a turkey sandwich, bacon, egg, and cheese. Get them a little $1 Arizona, some chips, and all that. You know what I'm saying? We get to the college now and we start the tour. So... Of course, they give us a tour of the whole entire college, what classrooms look like, what it feels like sitting in the classroom, what lecture rooms look like, what um, the auditorium looks like, what the gym looks like for the guys. Um, they give us information about basketball teams for girls and boys. They give us information about sports and all of that other stuff. Like, you know, fun stuff, stuff you would want to know about a college. It was around like probably 1, 2 o'clock and it was time to eat lunch, I guess, lunch. So we go into the lunchroom. It was huge. And like it's a lot of food. It was like it was like basically like a buffet. So you could pick whatever you want to eat. It was a section where you could make your own sandwiches. It was another section where you could have somebody make your food. So my stupid self, I never had chicken Alfredo before. Like I I'm Caribbean. I don't really do the whole Alfredo situation. Now I go and I'm walking around the whole entire place. You know, it's it's like different groups of us. So my friends and I we walking around we walking around the um the lunchroom trying to figure out what we eating and I see the chicken Alfredo. So I said, look listen, let me grab me a bowl and put a little bit in there and I'ma grab me a pizza on the side and a piece of chicken in case I don't really like that. I'ma eat the pizza and the chicken. Boom. I already had me my Arizona from before, so that was still cool. So we sat at the table with the teacher, we talking to him, we having fun laughing like Kiki Kian. And I was looking at the pasta and it didn't really look how it should look. Like it didn't have no it didn't have no seasoning, no black pepper, it didn't look like it had no salt, nothing. So I went and grabbed me some salt and black pepper packets. So I put it on there to give it a little bit of a kick. You get what I'm saying? I took like two or three spoons and my stomach started. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm looking around the table. I'm like, oh, god damn. It's about that damn. <laughs> so I start to slouch. Like I lay back and I slouch on my chair because 
I feel like, you know, the back end started breathing a little bit. So I'm like, oh, damn. All right now. So, you know, I start to loosen up a little bit. I unbuckled my belt a little bit. And the teacher turns around. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm trying to act cool. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, just full. You, you get me? So after that, five minutes go by. And he's like, all right, guys, it's time to get up. Bitch, I get up? Oh. Oh. It was a different story. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And my stomach started wailing. Like, I started letting loose of air in the back end. So one of my friends called me to the bathroom and she's like, are you okay? So I'm like, yeah, you know. I told her, like, I was like, I gotta take a shit. I get to the bathroom and, bro, whoo-wee. Girl, good thing the bathroom was clean. After you do that, you feel a little lighter. So I'm like, all right, I should be fine. So in the next hour and a half, we done finished the whole college tour. So we get on the bus and, you know, I'm on the bus and I'm starting to feel a little nauseous, like as if I didn't eat, which would make sense because I should have it out. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm starting to feel nauseous. Luckily, I had a Coke with me. One thing my parents always told me is warm Coke always helps with, um, like, stomach aches, diarrhea, and stuff like that. I had a Coke with me, and I kept it in the bus, so of course it was warm. So I drank some of it, and one of my friends that was sitting behind me, she went to the, she said, and told the teacher, like, look, she don't feel good, do you have a plastic bag, in case she feel like throwing up. So he came back there, and he gave me a plastic bag. I went to the bathroom, tried to use the bathroom, it didn't work, like, I didn't have to let loose of nothing, everything was good. So I was like, all right, fine. So now, I'm throwing up in the bag, so I'm like, all right, Tied the bag up, doubled the bag, tripled the bag. I put it over there by my seat. We get back to the school, and I'm starting to feel like a cramp in my butt. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's about to go down. The school is closed. It's locked because, obviously, it's like 8, 9 o'clock. So, of course, the school's not going to be open. Yo, I'm like, oh, we got to find something. Everywhere we was going was closed. So basically I was screwed. So I'm telling my friends, I'm like, all right, let's go. We gotta go, we gotta go. We go. I lived on the last stop of this train. The last stop. So now I'm getting a little hot. I'm starting to sweat. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna die. This is when that happened. So my friend is like, are you okay? I'm like, you know what? We gonna make it. I get on the train and I sit. I found a seat. So I sit down. Girl, I went to sit down and I felt like something was about to come out. I stood right back up. I looked around and I went and stood by the door like this. And I tell you, I was standing on the door. I had a book bag on. I tell you, I was standing on the door like this. Straight. I was not playing. I was not moving. I was holding on to the bars for their life. I know y'all had diarrhea before. You know the farts before the diarrhea, like the pre-warning, like yo, it's about to go down, find a toilet right now. That's what was happening. Luckily, it stopped before the last hour. was probably like two blocks away from my house, so it wasn't that bad. So I'm telling her, I'm like, you don't have to walk me home. She's like, no, I'm good. I want to make sure you're, you're home, say da 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 whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. We walked to my house, a block, like literally in the middle of the block before I get to my block. broke loose mind you my legs is this short so i could move only but so fast my and plus i have to keep it tight because you know if i let loose it's, that's it so i'm walking like this like mad fast i'm out i'm out of six thousand like i'm out of here all of a sudden i heard then after that you already know baby baby who i loosened up my bag i put it all the way down just just in case something was to show through my pants it wouldn't show but it's starting to like it's in my drawers like you know what i'm saying it's in my drawers and i felt like it was about to start running down my pants so i start walking a little faster she like you're gonna make it upstairs you're gonna make it upstairs i'm like yeah she like you know at this point she already knows what's going on she already know i had diarrhea she already know my stomach was rumbling up with this what she didn't know was that I shit it on myself. 
but I just couldn't. I couldn't tell her what happened. So at the time, at the time, I'm starting to panic. I call my mother. I'm like, mommy, I'm coming upstairs. I doodled on myself. So what I need you to do is, I think it's some doodle in my pants, running on my pants right now. So I'm going to try and get upstairs real fast. She's like, oh, your uncle is here. I get home. He's like, hi, how are you? How was your trip? Da, da, da. He want to talk. Got to go. Got to blast. Yo, I was out of here. Oh, my God. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. Show it to your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt, your uncle, your sister, your godfather, your godmother, your dog, your cat, and your hamster. All that shit. Damn little baby, what you call that shit? That's the red nose, shawty.